Right, question six. Write down the McLaurin expansion of e to the x. That's one you should remember. Remember this. If you remember this, you also remember sine and cos. It's an easy one because it's just 1 plus x over 1, plus x squared over 2 factorial, plus x cubed over 3 factorial, and so on. It says, well, I've lost the place again. Hence, write down the expression for this for 1 plus e to the x squared. Well, that'll just be that, plus 1. So that'll be 2. 2 plus x, and I think I'll switch them to the front, plus a half of x squared, 3 times 2 is a sixth of x cubed. And I only want to go as far as x cubed, so I'm not going to put any more terms in. Dot, 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 squared. I'll spell it out, though. So that means I've got 2 plus x, plus a half of x squared, plus a sixth x cubed, I'll not put the other ones in, times the same again, 2 plus x, plus a half x squared, plus a sixth x cubed. I know there were extra terms. And I've just got to consider the various multiplications that go up to power 3. Well, 2 is going to have a load of them, so 2 multiplying all of those will give me a 4, plus a 2x, plus an x squared, you just have to be careful with all the micro-arithmetic here, plus That'll just be a third, 2 sixths is a third of x cubed. x multiplying it, so that's going to give me, I think I'll just put it underneath, x multiplying it's going to give me a 2x plus an x squared plus a half x cubed. And that's as far as it'll go, I'm now going to take it to the 4. A half x squared multiplying them all will give me 2 times a half is just the 1, so that'll give me an x squared. And a half times a half is, oh, that's the wrong one, a half times the x is going to give me a half x cubed. Move on to the cube now. That's going to give me 2 times a 6 is a third of x cubed. And that's it finished. Those are all the only terms I'll have up to power 3. So we'll just add it all up then. So format 1 plus e to the x squared, I've got 4 plus 4x plus 3 lots of x squared plus a whole bunch of 2s and 3s, so that's going to be 6s of x cubed. What's that going to be? So I'm going to have a 2 and a 3 and a 3 and a 2, so I'll have to write it out again. 4 plus 4x plus 3x squared plus, and that's going to come to 10. 10 over 6, half it, half it, half it, 5 up in 3. 5 up in 3x cubed, and there would be some other terms. So there it is for question 6.